Hey everyone, welcome back to The Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing another Funko Pop review on the 8-bit Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees and um, this is a really cool pop from the start. As you can see there, it's number 23 in the set. I believe Freddy was 22. 8-bit Jason on the side there, which is always really cool. Like I said, I love the style of these boxes. On the side there, nice picture of Jason there. You can see the tip of blood on the top of his knife. Um, on the back, we get the iconic hockey mask there, which is really, really cool. I really like the... I love these horror packaging, like... I'm definitely keeping this in box and even the way the lights hit it just looks really freaky and then on the side there as well it says Jason on the top as you can see the top of his um, hockey mask peering over the top not much on the bottom so um, let's open Jason and we'll see what we think Now here's Jason out of the packaging and as you can see he's a nice pop um, as well he's very weighty as well like I always say the 8-bit pops are nice and heavy and I've really got an addiction for these 8-bit pops at the moment. Take a first take a look at his hockey mask which is really nicely done all the air holes in it as well here all actually um, sculpted through and you've got the red um, bits on the front which are actually on his mask in the uh, movies and you can see the straps for his mask going back there culminate into the back where it's like a uh, back to hold them hold them all on and his head's all gray there as well but it's all eight bitted out on the it's very smooth at the top but eight bitted out on the back his jacket's ripped at the back as well which is really nicely done that's really cool i like that and as you can see from the back he's holding his knife in his hand there as we turn to the side you can see his knife sticking out there with blood all on it which is really cool i did pick these um horror two this one and the freddy one i've already reviewed up from smith's toy store if you check out my smith's toy store hunt it would be the last Smith's toys hunt i done um you would think that they wouldn't put these in uh kid stores but you know nonetheless let's move on i digress um but at the front here you can see his iconic green jacket which is really nice really nicely done just like i said these eight bit pops i just really enjoy them i just think they're really really done well and um like i said it's just the feel of them and the texture and the whole whole lot of it they're definitely worth your money as well when you pick up the funko pop box you can just feel the weight of the pop compared to the normal ones and i'm not a huge fan of freddie and jason so i won't be getting their normal pops but i'm really glad I did pick up the 8-bit pops because it's just something different and something I like and um, yeah so overall guys I haven't got really much to say about this pop but I really do think it's cool and I just wanted to show it off to you guys really so definitely pick it up if you are thinking about it if you're on the fence about it just commit to it because it's a really cool pop I'm going to keep it in box because of that cool pop art on the back of that box so guys let me know what you think of this pop hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you are already subscribed don't forget to like I said to drop a comment below uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram links in the description below and hit me up on there and I'll see you next time guys bye bye